What's up, guys? Brick Titan here with a Lego Marvel Superhero set to review for you guys. This is the Beware the Vulture set from the uh, new Spider Man Homecoming line. This is set number 76083. It has 375 pieces and retails for a pretty high price of $40, but you get some really cool figures in it. Like, first of all, we have the uh, new Spider Man here in the new movie. And as you'll see right off the bat, he has those new. Uh, like uh, hand flick fire missile things which look like uh, web blasters which is pretty cool they just kind of snap in there like real simple and that we've got them before in other uh, superhero sets so that's pretty cool some really nice printing on the side of his arms there some really nice printing on his torsos and I really like that they do the uh, uh, kind of booty style legs on each one of these uh, newer superheroes because they make them look kind of a little bit more like uh, detailed on the on the boots and stuff and i think that's really cool and i really like the printing all over this spider man figure we also get some accessories with spider man of course we get his like web and of course like a web kind of string here that you can kind of hook and attach any way you want to on the set and he does come for with a phone for the peter parker aspect of it so that's pretty cool you can kind of let spider man have like a some accessories that are in the set and one's a uh, figure that we weren't really expecting until uh, we actually got this at our really late pictures was the Shocker minifigure. And it's going to be really cool that we're actually going to get Shocker in the uh, actual movie. So that's pretty awesome. And he has some pretty cool like uh, like Shocker gloves there, which are pretty cool. But they had, we've seen that piece before. So, I mean, like, it's not nothing uh, fancy fancy, but it is a really cool uh, figure to have the arm pieces and everything printed out. It's going to be a pretty cool movie. I can't wait to actually watch it. Um, and we have, last but not least, Iron Man here, which is kind of a bummer that we actually don't have, like, a Tony Stark headpiece in here. This is kind of a basic, like, clear blue piece. So, I mean, like, I guess it's like an automated suit kind of thing. So, I mean, like, that's kind of cool. And it is a cool kind of clear headpiece but you know it, it is a, a nice addition to all the different armors of Iron Man that we have you know really good printing of uh, like chrome silver on the legs and stuff I think they did a really good job with that and of course he does come with his little like studs on the bottom that you can use for like kind of jets and not uh, pulsar beams and stuff so that's that's pretty rad all right now this is the highlight of the set which is the vulture and you can see he has massive wings in the set like it is really big like you can see that they are really detailed have some really cool like movement and articulation in each wing we also get some little bitty purple uh, stud uh, shooters right there at the top which okay I've lost that one but that's okay you can see how it works and you see you just load them just like a regular uh, stud shooter there just kind of snaps in the side there so that's pretty cool and we can remove the vulture from the back here i'll show you the back side of that in just a second i just want to kind of show you the actual vulture figure himself you can see he has some really cool detail printing on the front here and on the back he has a uh, kind of a plastic thing that covers up a little bit of the top you can see he doesn't have a second face but he does have a pretty detailed front face and we'll go ahead and take this off and show you the actual um backside of his torso there and it looks more like a kind of a biker jacket or something and of course this is just a little piece so you can hook on to the big wings on the back so that's kind of a nice feature because you can kind of take it off and actually have him like a regular minifigure a little printing on the back just kind of looks like spots of his, his bald head so that's kind of kind of cool wish they would have made like a second face but that's okay i really like the helmet though i think they did a good job with that looks kind of like some of the more um extremist armor we've got in some other sets and this thing does move quite a bit like the wings itself the vulture wings like i mean like you've got these engines that kind of move on the on the back side here the only two stickers on this are these two right here in the center and of course it looks like it's got a jet and you can move these things a little bit these little fins on the bottom but it's not really anything i think it's just more for looks the articulation is really mostly in this part of the joints and the sides of the wings so I mean like for playability this thing is like off the charts good and you just hook the your vulture figure on the side there and you know you can kind of prop it up like this which which kind of makes it pretty cool and like kind of a side note here let me go ahead and set these figures on this side so we can get two 
kind of a, a basic part of the set. I mean, like, it's it's pretty cool, but it's not anything, like, overly awesome. You basically buy the set for the, the actual vulture and the figures, but this is a pretty cool little piece of uh, equipment. It's, like, a basically, like, uh, a van, and it's, like, Shocker's van. So, I mean, like, there's some cool things in it. Like, we can fold this open here, and you can kind of see the insides here, which are really detailed. And you can, like, take this apart and make, like, kind of a little gun here. Like, you have this part, and then you have this part. And then you can, like, hook it together. And you kind of have, like, a like a really fancy kind of blaster thing for, for the Shocker. Which is, you know, a pretty nice little touch, like, for playability. I mean, like, nothing's fancy. I mean, like, they're just basic pieces. And, of course, we do have a really fancy rapid-fire stud shooter here. And we all know who that goes. It's gonna, like, make a mess, but you, you know how those work. They're pretty cool, and it does kind of lift up and down in the back here. I mean, like, I, I'm kind of, like, at this point, I'm kind of tired of stud shooters, but I, I, I don't mind having them because, like, they're kind of, like, a, a necessary play feature in a lot of LEGO sets. We do have a lot of stickers in this set, and here's some crates. We got, um, like, some, some stuff on there, and there's nothing in this one. However, in one of these crates, let me see if I can't, like, snap that back on there. We do have another sticker there. And then we do have a kind of a like a weapon of sorts and nothing really fancy just kind of a, a cone shaped thing with you know a little stud at the bottom so it's not anything like really awesome looking but i mean like it's cool for like a play feature you just kind of stick these crates in the back here and i do like the fact that you can kind of fold everything up like and it kind of folds nicely into the like the way the van looks because i mean like that kind of that works out pretty cool and we have just a basic, like, kind of a front seat there. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Just a basic. I really like the, the way they did the, uh, the, uh, uh, mirrors on the side. Now that's a nice touch. I mean, like, it's it's kind of a basic van. The stickers are a nightmare in this set because they're like everywhere. <laughs> like, I mean, like they're like probably like 20 stickers in this one set. But I mean, like, that's just the way a lot of Lego sets are coming these days. I mean, like, they just have to because they can't print every piece, which I understand. But be sure to give this video a like and let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of this set is. And if you're going to uh, get ready to go see the movie, because I imagine you want to see the movie um, like I do, um, be sure to let me know if you guys are ready for the movie or how you guys... Uh, feel about it, but, she, but be sure to let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Hey, before you go, click here to subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell by my name to turn on notifications. Or click here to see another one of our videos you might like.